We're here at one of our Farm Journal Corn Soybean College plots. In this case, we're at a, a corn characteristics plot. And we talk about um, the, what are the big things that move yield and that uh, we see in the yield monitor when it comes to corn. Of course, water, water management, how much rain you get, that's number one. But number two, right behind it is hybrid selection. How well do you match the hybrid to the situation that you're planting it into? And that's kind of what this teaching plot is all about, looking at hybrid characteristics to help you match up to the farm and help you match up to the population, what's gonna be best for that farm. So this hybrid is a pendulum hybrid. It's a, a tall pendulum hybrid where the leaf structure goes out horizontal from the ground. It's got a pretty wide leaf. This one can capture a lot of sunlight and all we gotta do is capture 95, 96% of the sunlight and we max out our population on a hybrid. And in this case, it's gonna happen pretty quick with this uh, variety because it's got such a leaf surface and such a horizontal surface. So we can tell that it's captured all the sunlight when we look at, for instance, this is 22,000, this pass, that pass is 36,000. At 22,000, we have a bigger, thicker stalk. Uh, at 36,000, we've got a smaller stalk because we're competing for sunlight. You can tell that in nutrients as well. If we look down at the bottom, we're green all the way to the bottom leaf here. But when we look at 36,000 with the same fertility program, you can see the cannibalization that's taking place down here, which um, basically when we raise population, we have to keep in mind it's going to take a higher nitrate load to get it. But this plant has the ability to cover the ground at a low population. So this plant is really geared for soils where you need to pull back on population to conserve water, conserve nutrients in those lighter soils. This particular hybrid is more upright in its leaf structure, and it's got a narrower leaf, a little bit harder for it to capture the same amount of sunlight. And it's a situation where we can tell that um, sunlight's getting down. We're only about 70%. This is 22,000. We're only about 70% light capture. And you can tell that, for instance, by the suckers that are here at the base. And when you see suckers at pollination and they're still alive, that tells you you population is too low for that particular hybrid for that year and in this case this plant's trying to put on multiple uh, suckers and that's a waste of energy translocating that nutrient back into the plant is very poor so this would be your telltale sign for this hybrid you don't have the population high enough when we take that same hybrid up to 36,000 we do get a little smaller stock diameter but we get rid of those suckers they die off pretty quickly because the sunlight's been squeezed out of that probably by chest high or so uh, in that process. But this is a hybrid with its leaf structure allows you to plant the population higher, especially if you have the soil and the water capacity uh, to take that higher plant population. So this is one that would be more geared to your racehorse ground, uh, something that you really want to push. And you uh, don't have to worry so much in this plant because we aren't so tall about the standability because it's a tall medium tall upright hybrid, it's going to capture sunlight um, at those higher populations.